Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. As you saw the unbox, I bought an AMD Ryzen 3 3200G, another one of them. This time I bought it for $250, that was the best one I could find in the market. But last year when I bought this one, exactly about 1 year ago, when I bought this CPU for my other PC, I bought it on sale from Micro Center for $80. And as you can see this screenshot which I got it from my other video that I posted last year, if you go to my channel you can find that one too. Uh, the price that was this for this CPU on the market last year on Best Buy and Newegg and other places it was $94, $99 up to $100 maximum but right now the price on this one uh, right now in Newegg is $299 and on other places it's $250 I got it for $250 out of eBay and I will talk about is it worth it today in 2021, almost 2022, to get this Ryzen 3 3200G or not, and whether you should consider it or not. One thing I also want to mention is that if you can find this GPU in places like uh, Adoroma, because right now it's on back order, but if they bring it, the price that they're selling it is $129, I don't know if they will bring it or not because it's temporarily not available for like one year if you can find it like from this place or if you found it used or you have another uh, someone that's selling it used for not that uh, expensive definitely you should consider this GPU or even if you still like it and you don't uh, you can't find gpus because right now in uh, us you can't find gpus that much and it is very hard to find gpus depending on what location you are for example people who are not near a micro center uh, it's almost impossible to get a gpu and even in california if you're near a micro center then uh, maybe you can get the rx 600 maybe you can get a 3060 once in a while and because the even there it's out of stock most of the time and in best buy you almost can't get any gpus because then uh, they only selling it online right now and even online you can't find it because once it comes people who have bots and other programs they buy it right away and they don't give a chance for regular buyers to buy some and on places like EVGA website it's almost impossible to go and even the queue to sign up when it's available they call you and you can buy it even there I um, signed up for almost two years right now and I still didn't get a chance uh, I buy GPUs off uh, market from third parties eBay a lot of them you can watch my GPUs in uh, my channel but then uh, for people who don't have time and they don't have the budget to buy GPUs and they can't find one then definitely this G uh, this CPU is the best choice for them and if they want to do low resolution gaming and definitely this GPU is great for them and I will tell you why comparing this GPU to uh, i3 uh, we can see i3 the slightly more uh, powerful than this one 20% more powerful and we can see an i3 is 3.6 gigahertz uh, but this one is 3.6 also which you can overclock it up to 4 gigahertz from my own experience and back then this GPU was great one because the price was $80 and i3 was $89 and you got a GPU that had Vega 8 graphic and that's why it was really good and I always considered this P4 uh, but not anymore uh, but if you have one or if you can find one used or at a lower price definitely this is a great option still why? Um, because this one has Vega 8 graphics and the only graphic card that you can find off market right now to game with that is available on different places like Micro Center, Best Buy, Newegg, Amazon, it's the 1030 GT 1030. 
and uh, GT turn 30 is 36 percent more uh, powerful than this one but that's only uh, when considering one gigabyte and we can see GT N30 $79 and it's only one gigabyte and when only considering one gigabyte through Vega 8 then yes it is 36 percent more powerful but then um, if you use a dual channel 16 gigabyte memory stick um, you can give 8 gigabyte of the me memory um, from your memory stick to your GPU so then your GPU is 9 gigabyte and then your GPU is uh, your Vega 8 GPU which is integrated through your CPU is much more powerful and you can play almost any game uh, but in more higher spec games you have to play it at lower resolution I tried for example Hitman 3 on this uh, Vega 8 and many of other games and you can play easily at 1080p at 60 hertz without any problem so definitely if you don't want 1030 and you can find this at the lower price it's a great GPU because you can game you can do anything on it uh, at a good price and but however if you are trying to buy this for $250 I don't recommend it and definitely if you should put some time and a little bit more budget uh, to get a actual dedicated graphic card maybe you can get an i3 and then go buy an RX 6600 which is $400 if you have the budget if you still don't have the budget and you want to uh, make a computer that your both CPU and GPU is $250 then definitely again uh, this one you can buy and it's worth it and that's what I did for a friend and he only had a budget $250 for the CPU and the GPU together and once you buy $90 the i3 what left is about $150 he had and that $150 $160 uh, you cannot buy anything other than a 1030 uh, so that's why I got the Ryzen 3 3200G for $250 for him and actually sometimes this one works better than a dedicated graphic because it's integrated graphic and with a dedicated graphic you have some um, driver issues therefore uh, overall it depends to you whether you have the budget or not if you have the budget definitely go watch my other videos where i show different graphic cards 6600 6700 3060 ti 3060 6600 XT 6700 XT and many more and if you don't have the budget and you can find this one used or at a lower price definitely consider this one or if you still like this one you can consider it too uh, if you have any questions feel free to comment below other than this thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day